Hey, it's Kat here, and today I'm gonna to be making a Christmas stocking on my knitting machine. My idea is that a Christmas stocking is a bit like a tube, so I'm gonna be using the tube setting on my knitting machine and then putting a couple of stitches on one side for the heel, and hopefully it'll give it that kink of the stocking, and then adding a couple of pom-poms at the top. I've actually just tried this already, and I came up with this monstrosity, so I'm hoping to correct all my mistakes from this and learn from them, the biggest of which was using this beautiful line of purple Purple, right through the middle I just thought that I should use a piece of waste yarn this is where I've tried to put the heel and obviously I've used way too much but the shape is there so we are going to improve on this and I'm going to show you exactly how I'm going to do it yeah let's not say any more about this and obviously I'm going to be using my trusty drill which is perfect for tube knitting projects because you just attach it to the knitting machine and then let it do its thing and you don't need to keep cranking with your hand perfect I'm using four skeins of chunky yarn in a cream on the tube setting. The first thing I'm going to do is cast on my waste yarn. This is like a foundation for the main yarn and it makes sure that the main yarn stays in shape and is easy to see. I always cast on every other stitch and then really slowly turn the handle for the first few rows, then knit about 10 rows before changing to my main yarn. Then I can reset the counter and start on my main yarn. So I've done 60 rows and this is the part where things get real because I'm going to now turn it to the panel setting. My idea is to go back on myself on the panel setting, back and forth, back and forth for a couple of rows and then put it back to the tube setting. So I've kind of made, made myself a little heel. So let's, let's try this. I am aware also that some of the pegs or some of the loops are going to fall off. So I'm going to use some stitch markers to hold these on. That looks like it's come off already, so I'm just going to mark that one. There we go. So now I'm going to go back and forth a few rows. Right, I've done five rows and I think that's okay because when I did the heel on this one, it was way too much, many. <laughs> so yeah, now because I've marked the stitches, I'm actually just gonna put them all back on the pegs and then carry on with my tube. So this is the first one. So I'm taking this off and I'm gonna put that back on the peg. Come on. There we go. That's on. And that's on that peg. Excellent. And then now I'm going to do that for the next one, which is on that peg that's sticking up, kind of like this. There we go. Then as we get round to the next one, it's going to be... Oh, oh no, it's fallen off, it's fallen off, it's fallen off. Okay, I'm going to get my scissors. Please. I don't even know what I'm clutching onto here, but something, something is here. Come on. Oh my God, did that make it worse? Okay, I put some sort of loop over there, so that's good. Okay, right, let's see if we can carry on with our tube. Oh my God, obviously you need to set it to tube. Right, so I've gone around here and now to do the same for these pegs, which I'll do without showing you. Right, so now we can carry on. This is like the heel bit. Now we can carry on with the tube with our drill. Yes, so excited because hopefully the shape will be good. Now I'm going to be changing back to the tube setting and I'm going to knit another 80 rows. And because this is going to be a long stint, I'm going to be using my trusty drill. I've got my adapter on and now I'm going to attach it to the knitting machine. Here we go. <laughs> Gotta make sure, whoops, that's still on there. Yes. Okay. 
whoops. So I've done about 80 rows, cast on some waste yarn, a couple of rows, and then I'm gonna take the whole thing off and we'll see what it looks like. Okay, here it is. I don't think it's too bad. It's okay, we've got like a uh, bend and I think it might be all right. Look, if I, right, I'm gonna draw string this bit from the inside. So I'm just gonna do a draw string around here and then hopefully that will look a bit like a sock. Right, so I have thread, darning needle and I'm just gonna go all the way around this top stitch here so we don't drop any stitches just in and out like this all the way until we get back to the start and now back to the start I'm going to take the waste yarn off um, how are we going to do this this together and basically secure it back and forth After I cut the waist yarn off with some sharp scissors and used the crochet hook to slip stitch all around the top, I then folded it down and made a few pom-poms with my pom-pom maker to tie onto the top. This was really, really easy, especially if they're small ones, it doesn't take long, and it just added a finishing flourish. Let me know what you think in the comments. It's not perfect, but it's cute as a decoration for the fireplace and it's a great project to make with your drill if you don't want to sit there cranking all day. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. That would absolutely make my day. And another video you might like is this one where I make a finger knit Christmas tree bauble. I'll see you there.